Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to configure Sophos as the DDNS or Dynamic DNS Service Provider on your Sophos XG Firewall. This is a very unique feature new to the Sophos XG Firewall OS. Typically, what you would have to do is utilize some form of a third-party Dynamic DNS Provider to achieve this. However, this is included completely free with your Sophos XG Firewall. So why use Dynamic DNS? Dynamic DNS is extremely useful and can be applied to any of your WAN interfaces. What this will do is communicate to Sophos your current public IP address, which will dynamically update your DNS host record associated with the WAN interface. What this means is even though your WAN IP may change, you will always be able to reach your public IP using the configured host name. Let's go ahead and jump into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall and take a look. All right, so here in our web admin, we're going to start by selecting configure and network. And then we're going to jump on over here to our dynamic DNS. Select the add button. Enter in the host name that you wish to assign to your WAN interface. In our example here, we're just going to go ahead and use firewalls.com.myfirewall.co. If you are using Sophos as your dynamic DNS provider, you will always need to end your FQDN with myfirewall.co. This is unique and specific to Sophos, and it must be entered in this format. Using Sophos, you don't need to register an account with any external DDNS provider or purchase a routable public IP address. Your IP address updates will be secure because they are not communicated outside the network. The configured host name is bound to the serial number of your Sophos XG firewall, so in no way can there ever be two of the same host names. So now that we've got our host name selected here, we'll just want to select the interface we want to assign this to. Next, we just need to specify whether or not our firewall is being deployed in a NATed situation. So if your firewall is deployed behind some other form of a router and it has a private IP address, you'll definitely need to select NATed public IP. Here in our IP edit checking interval, we can specify a time threshold where we can see we can select anything between 4 and 60 minutes. Down here in our service provider details, we can select our Sophos, where you can also see that you can select third-party dynamic DNS providers. You can see that Dyn DNS, Zone Edit, Easy DNS, and Dyn Access are all supported on your Sophos XG firewall. So here we'll go ahead and select Sophos and go ahead and save it. We can see that our DDNS account for firewalls.com.myfirewall.co has been created successfully. We'll go ahead and open up a command prompt here and go ahead and start firing off some pings. And keep in mind that this can take a little bit of time here. As our public IP address needs to be communicated with Sophos, the record then needs to be created, at which point our public IP address will resolve to firewall.com.myfirewall.co. Okay, there we go. So I did have to wait about four to five minutes for this to actually update, but you can see here with our successful pings that the host name was in fact created, which does now resolve to our public IP address, 96.64.128.43. Which we can also see over here in our interfaces, looking here at our WAN. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and smack that thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you are notified of future video releases. And more importantly, be sure to come check us out at firewalls.com. And of course, if you have any video topic ideas, we'd love to hear from you. Get secure, stay secure. Thanks for watching.